Hey guys, it's HDB here, and I'm saying this a lot. But welcome back to another video going over Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. Obviously, we did have that big trailer yesterday drop, which just showed loads of more new stuff about like Misty and everything like that. And that was cool. I did my reaction yesterday, I did my breakdown earlier today. And then, of course, yesterday, another trailer dropped. And there's a lot more stuff in it, which is really cool because this trailer, in my opinion, is much better than the last one. We're seeing legendary Pokemon, we're seeing Jesse and James, we're seeing a lot of stuff happening in this trailer and so i thought hey gonna have to do a breakdown of it because there is actually a lot of important stuff in this trailer that you guys need to know about in terms of like catching pokemon in the wild which we didn't think was a thing but now it could be a thing i don't even know let's just jump into the trailer if you guys are excited for the video though please do drop a like down below rid us up out the video the channel all that good stuff without further ado let's get into the video i really hope you guys enjoy so starting things off of course we have the nintendo switch click thing of course, it is still a bit weird because I'm used to seeing 3DS, but of course, it's on the Nintendo Switch now. Again, I can't play it for all the way because copyright reasons, because, you know, that's the thing in today's society anyway. The trailer starts off with a bunch of kids running to the beach. These are looking like some sandcastle things. He's got a map of where to go. They look like they're having the greatest time ever. I mean, to be fair, when Let's Go Peach and Let's Go Eevee, I'm going to probably have a face like that, let's be honest. Or that one. That's probably going to be my face. Either way, there's some happy children running to the beach. I mean, yeah, I'd give him a fist bump. I would. He, They're so excited. Oh, my Lord. I mean, I've been to the beach. I like the beach. I've never been that excited about the beach. I hope they're going to the beach because they're taking... Why am I even talking about this? It's got nothing to do with Let's Go Peach and Eevee. Anyway, they got the Switch. This guy, he's just woke up. He's got his Pokeball Plus. He's about to summon Mew or something. No, he's going into the title. So, this is the title screen, which is really, really awesome. Looks really cool. I take it, obviously, this is for Let's Go Pikachu, and then obviously Let's Go Eevee. You're going to have a picture of Eevee there. That's a really cool title screen. I like that. You just press the, the A button, it looks like there. That's really cool. I'm a big fan of that. That's really, really cool. I like that. And then obviously, it has the. We've got, we're going to see this in like every single trailer, by the way, just where. The, hang on. No, this is actually important because this looks like the female hand. Hang on. No, I think that might be the male hand. Never mind. I was making it. It's just that we haven't seen this bit for Pikachu yet. We've only seen that for Eevee, and it kind of looked like a female hand. Never mind, though. I was, I was talking rubbish. Anyway, he's got the Pokeball Plus, and then this is, again, just running through Pewter City. I do believe we're reading on something like that. But, yeah, he's running down, and boom. And there's a lot of live action in this, by the way. We've got a Pikachu over here, like, hey, how you doing? I've been here the whole time. I wish I had a Pikachu like that on my shoulder. All I've got is this little plush, which just isn't the same at all. Anyway, let's just do in this actual breakdown, because so far we've no breaking down anyway so he's running over here this is route one i do believe we've got rats over here there has been more footage of like wild battles and um well catching wild pokemon and obviously the wild the trainer battles as well uh there's been two like full clips shown about that i'm gonna make a video breaking that down soon as well um but you know this all comes first because that's just not as important as these big trainers so anyway it looks like he's running after the rat here and then obviously we go into the battle with rat he's catching it it's great he's done a good nice throw i mean you know respectable a nice throw is something decent he's caught it boom he's catching a diglet now he's having a great time at the office to be fair he's having a great day he's just catching loads of pokemon he's so happy about him pikachu is i mean they must have just got the most energetic kids for this trailer i've ever seen because i've never seen a, a, a kid smile that much about catching a, a, a cedra maybe i don't know he was happy about all of them i guess anyway he's got his I don't know, there's another kid here with his dad, it looks like, or his older brother. They're catching stuff. Everyone's got a Pikachu. They're trading, it looks like, which is awesome. You know, quick high five after a trade because I've, we've all done that. We've all done a big high five after a trade. Obviously, here we can see Oddish. Again, that is a new Pokemon 2 Viridian Forest. As we all knew, uh, that's not av obviously available in the red, blue, yellow games and Fire and Leaf Green. That's not allowed. That's not seen in Viridian Forest. Same as Butterfree as well. I don't think you can actually just catch a... Butterfree in Viridian Forest. I think you have to evolve a Metapod or Cappy. Uh, there's obviously a Cappy here as well. That's actually kind of a camouflage. I didn't actually see that at first. Uh, we got some Weedles down here as well. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you can actually catch just a fully evolved Butterfree. That's, that's cool. Uh, the fact that you can catch like fully evolved Pokemon. We've got a Mr. Mime here. This is definitely uh, interesting because I thought this was only available in the Safari Zone, like in the Pokemon Go theme, because obviously it's a um, in the big map we saw like all the um, the regional exclusive Pokemon only shown in like the Safari Zone area, so we thought that you could only get that through Pokemon Go. But he's obviously catching that here, and it doesn't look like it's in the background of Go Park, so maybe that's not true, or maybe you can just find these regional exclusives somewhere in the in the world, which is awesome because um, I I need Tauros and Kangaskhan in my Pokemon Go file. So if we can trade from Let's Go Pidgey and Let's Go Eevee to Pokemon Go, which I'm pretty sure we'll be able to, that'll be awesome because I'll finally be able to complete my Kanto Pokedex because I only need Kangaskhan and you know Tauros. 
because I've not been to Australia or America, and I don't think I got Kangaskhan when it was a regional exclusive that went around London and everything like that. Anyway, he's, he likes watermelon, that's for sure. Anyway, so they're doing more, you know, screeching at the, the, the switch, I, I guess. This is an interesting point. So uh, you've got like a little, I think this is like a little mini game or something because he's running around, he's getting chased by a bunch of Pikachu, and there's a timer up here as well now. I don't know if this could be like a similar scene to obviously in the anime when he goes to like the Pikachu hidden village place and then obviously he releases Pikachu but then Pikachu jumps back into Ash's arms and everyone's happy. I don't think it's going to be that but it could be. It definitely looks like a mini game because there is a timer up here in the uh, in the top right corner. Um, so I, it's, it's 1 minute 56 so maybe you have to find as many Pikachu as you can in like 2 minutes or something like that but he's getting chased by a lot of Pikachu right now and he's got one obviously his on his shoulder so i really don't know but it, it, maybe there's like an eevee version as well in let's go eevee it'll be really cool though because i'd like to see loads of mini games this this pikachu looks like he's just come out of pokeball or something with these like little blue circles surrounding it i'm not too sure but i guess these are they're all surrounding these as well so i'm not too sure about that um but they're not really forming any kind of pattern maybe you just have to like maybe do something with the pikachu i really don't know but it's a cool little mini game that we weren't really expecting to see in the in the, in the game so obviously we've got like the quests and stuff with the slowpoke quest that we saw now we've got mini games it looks like it's really cool there's a lot of like added features into the games which make it like the playability of it longer Anyway, guys, this is obviously the exciting point. Zapdos. We got Zapdos here. This looks like such an awesome, like, cutscene. I remember back in Red and Blue games, you just run up to him and click on him and go, Gah! and then that was it. In this scene, he's, like, shocking everything. This is obviously in the power plant. You catch Zapdos in the power plant in, you know, in Pokemon Yellow, Red, Blue, Fire, Leaf, Green, everything like that. But we obviously have an awesome scene right here, which is really, really cool. He's, like, shocking. He's, like, he's determined. Yeah, so speaks. Like, yeah, Zapdos, you're mine. I don't think you know what day it is, but it's the day you got him a Pokeball. But, of course, as we can see, guys, which is a really, really interesting thing, Thing, which completely changes everything we thought we knew about these games you fight the legendary pokemon pikachu is fighting zapdos here he's using his electric like he's using a thunder shock or something like that he's fighting zapdos um because obviously there's no trainers in the power plant in um any of the pokemon in, in, in any of the kanto games so you're fighting zapdos which raises quite a few points because the fact that you fight zapdos meaning that there are wild battles in in the game um which is awesome because obviously we thought it was just going to be catching Pokemon and that obviously did have a lot of uh, implications about legendaries and stuff like that with the legendary birds and Mewtwo and stuff like that. Why would we just be able to find them and then catch them? It'd be a little bit anticlimactic. But the fact you actually have to fight them is really cool. So maybe they do have a HP bar and stuff like that. It's going to be different. Another thing is the fact that it, it makes me think that shiny Pokemon are more in the game now as well because they know, like Pokemon know that you know if you just have to like run it to and catch it and then maybe it can flee uh, and it's a shiny everyone's gonna be annoyed because if you find a shiny zapdos and it runs away because you didn't catch it it's gonna be annoying so the fact that maybe you can just battle it get it down to red health and then like i don't know paralyze it like articuno or whatever and then like or put it to sleep or anything like that and you've got a better chance of catching it and stuff like that that would make more sense to me so i'm happy about that um but yeah it looks as if you battle the, the legendary pokemon in let's go pichu and let's go eevee so i'm talking about zapdos articuno moltres and mewtwo the only legendaries in Le in pokemon because obviously mews are mythical and we already know that we get mew from the pokeball plus anyway so obviously that's really cool we can see zapdos here in the battle so I, i'm a big fan of that i really really like the fact that we battle the legendaries i think that's a really really cool concept i, I mean it's it, it, i guess it could annoy a few people because it's just like why is it not for every pokemon that is like that but again it could just be for the shinies i really don't know but i guess it's like a legendary it's a little bit anticlimactic you go through all the way through like the power plant or sea islands or anything like that and then you find the pokemon and you just catch it it's a bit anticlimactic so it's cool that that's an actual thing this kid is just i don't know he's this is birthday or something he's so happy and obviously he's got pikachu jumping out and electrocuting and then we've got moltres here as well again battling more legendaries this basically confirms that we see the thunderstruck going on to moltres it's a battle scene maybe it's a good scene or something maybe like we don't know maybe pikachu battles it and then you catch it or something like that i really don't know but um it, it looks to see that you are battling the legendaries which is really, really cool i'm a big fan of that happening i'm glad it's happening um but yeah so we see we see um moltres using like i really don't know but some sort of like move here and then we obviously have the go park this guy's surrounded by the pokemon and then just more running around it's just loads of little different um cut scenes and stuff and then that's kind of it for the trailer uh and the pokemon, pokemon plus everything like that and that's kind of it so a very very juicy trailer a, a lot of um interesting stuff where's team rocket team rocket's somewhere i know team rocket's somewhere in this trailer um i can't remember whereabouts they show up in it i would love to play it for you guys but it's the fact that copyright and stuff they're definitely somewhere in here i, I I'll be, I'll be right back when I find it. Okay, guys, and we are back. So, yeah, Team Rocket are in uh, the game. is Jesse and James and Meowth. Meowth looks really out of place right here. But, yeah, Jesse and James are in the game. And that's because it is a yellow 
uh, it is very, very much based on Yellow, and obviously Jesse and James are in Pokemon Yellow, so a couple of people are like, why Jesse and James in it? That's why. <laughs> it makes sense because it's a yellow. It's like a, it's like another retelling of yellow. So it's not it's not necessarily a remake. They've just said it's very much inspired and very much based on yellow. It's not obviously a remake, but like I say, Jesse and James were in yellow. So why wouldn't they be in Let's Go Peach and Let's Go Eevee? It makes sense. Meowth definitely looks really small and out of place. But yeah, Team Rocket are in this. Um, how they're going to be in the actually like implemented into the game might be very much like yellow maybe we'll see jesse and james creep up a little bit more but this obviously isn't mount moon when you first do see them in pokemon yellow i remember that because i played it so many times as a kid uh but yeah team rocket are in the games um so pretty much that is everything for this trailer guys i really hope you guys did enjoy this breakdown a lot of interesting stuff happening and uh i'm a big fan of it i cannot wait to see more i'm so excited about these games and i'm, I'm sure you guys are now as well i mean look how nice they look i mean I, and the, the legendary things alone are just like absolutely ridiculous and again, you, you show you battling the legendaries. But guys, that is everything for today's video. So if you did enjoy, please do drop a like down below. I really do appreciate it. Really sub out the video, of the channel, all that good stuff. I uh, remember my second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, Discord, Patreon, can it'll be found in the description down below if you want to check any of that out. That is everything from me, though, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time, peace.